This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 691, An Essential Guide on How to Let Go of Someone, by Rebecca Crespo of MinimalismMadeSimple.com. Hello, everybody. I am Greg Audino, and welcome back to ORD, the show where I help you optimize all the numerous relationships in your life, one narration at a time. Today's no different. We've got another insightful episode ready for you. Today, I am narrating a post from Rebecca Crespo, as I said. It is a post on how to let go of someone you love without second-guessing yourself. Let's learn about how letting go of someone can be the right thing to do and start optimizing your life. An Essential Guide on How to Let Go of Someone by Rebecca Crespo of MinimalismMadeSimple.com Letting go is not an easy thing to do. Many people struggle with this around the world. We fill our minds with doubts, wondering if letting go of someone is really the right choice. Should we let go of this person, and when is the right time to do so? We find ourselves second-guessing our intentions and thoughts. We don't want to face the pain of hurting ourselves and others. How will we ever know if this is the right decision to make? I'm sure some of these questions are racing through your mind as you try to decide. Let's explore a bit more and really dig deep into how, why, and when you should let someone go. Why is it so difficult to let someone go? Even when your mind is telling you it may be the right thing to do, your heart may feel differently. Sometimes we don't want to let go of someone because we are attached to them. We love them and care for them. We don't want to see them hurt. Perhaps you share many things with this person. You share a home, a friendship, memories, time, your deepest thoughts, etc. It's so hard to let go because we are suffering from a potential loss, and we may grieve this loss. Grief can be complex, often accompanied by feelings of guilt and confusion. When we experience grief, we go through different emotions, such as depression, shock, and sadness. These are feelings and emotions we try to avoid in life, therefore making the process of letting go hard. How do you let someone go? Now comes the hard part. How does one actually go about letting someone go? Is there a right or wrong way to do it? The truth is, there is no one way to go about this process. First, you have to come to terms with it yourself, as well as allow the other person to come to terms within their own time, especially when it comes to letting go of someone we love. It's not like we can just instantly turn off our feelings and emotions. We don't just fall out of love with a partner or person in the snap of a finger. With that being said, there are some useful steps you can take to help guide you through the process. Number one, allow yourself to grieve. As I mentioned before, any loss in life comes with a sense of sadness and a bit of suffering, or a lot of suffering. That's just the way it is. Allow yourself to experience these emotions however they may come to you. Don't feel as if you shouldn't be hurting or suffering, or even that you shouldn't feel a certain way. Practice having self-compassion. Don't be too hard on yourself, but rather, be gentle with your soul. Take into account that it's perfectly okay to grieve. Number two, come to a place of acceptance. Accepting that this is what you must do because you feel that it's the best thing for you in this moment in time. Don't try to fight with your mind or heart. Make peace with the facts. Come to peace with your decision and know that it's okay to make this decision. Letting go doesn't mean that you don't love or care for this person. It simply means that you can't make space for them in your life, whether that is for your overall well-being or for the well-being of the other person. Number three, have a conversation with the person. We all deserve a bit of closure when something comes to an end. Take the time to give both yourself and the other person closure by having a conversation. This is when you have the opportunity to speak your truth and express your feelings. Be honest and authentic in this moment. Furthermore, allow the other person to express their feelings as well and listen with compassion. You may find some relief after the conversation is over, even if it may have caused you anxiety going into it. Number four, let time do its work. Time either moves slowly or too quickly. It's a tricky thing. Maybe time played a part in your decision to let someone go, and you just needed some time to come to terms with it. Use time to your advantage with an understanding that things will eventually get better. Allow time to take its natural course, not rushing it or avoiding it. Keep in mind that the pain you may be feeling won't linger on forever. Number five, keep your distance. We may feel tempted to reach out or connect with the person we let go of. This is due to attachment. 
We often try to hold on to people even when they're long gone. The best thing to do during this process is to distance yourself and keep your mind busy. Start focusing on self-care, your hobbies, and connect with close friends. Resist the urge to give in to your emotions during moments of weakness. Acknowledge that the process is hard, but know that it will get better. Why let go of someone you love? Some people wonder why one should let go of someone they love. Some people may have an idea that love is everything and you don't need anything else. But this is simply not true. Love isn't everything. Each person has their own identity, needs, and wants in life. And perhaps they don't align well with the other person. People sometimes end up in different places or stages in their lives, and that's okay. For example, maybe having a child is very important to you and it is something you know you want in life. The person that you love could feel just the opposite. They don't want to have children. This is a big difference that could cause one person to feel resentment or anger towards the other. It could even cause the person to agree to something they don't feel right about in their heart. This is a situation where love is not everything and the difficult decision of letting go should be made. We let go of people we love for different reasons, but ultimately it comes down to wanting what's best for ourselves and the other person. Perhaps a person isn't worthy of your love and our self-respect is greater than our feelings. Perhaps you can't give what the other person needs. In cases such as these, we come to the realization that it's best to let go and move on. Letting go and moving on. Quote, The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. Steve Maraboli. Letting go and moving on is a natural progression, something that shouldn't be forced. There is no time limit. And you must come to terms with that by allowing yourself to go through the emotions and eventually coming out on the other side. And you will come out on the other side. It takes time and patience. Let the good come in and let the past go. You just listened to the post titled An Essential Guide on How to Let Go of Someone by Rebecca Crespo of MinimalismMadeSimple.com Now, Establishing good communication with your friends, your family, and your partner is an essential part of any relationship. Likewise, establishing a healthy communication with yourself is essential for your mental health. And when you feel like you've hit maybe a roadblock, we want to let you know that BetterHelp is there for you. BetterHelp will get your needs assessed and help match you with your personal licensed professional therapist. They provide a safe and private environment for you to communicate with your therapist within 24 hours, plus giving you the flexibility of scheduling weekly video or phone sessions. Their financial aid makes it more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and you can schedule an appointment online at your own convenience. BetterHelp is not a self-help or a crisis line. It is professional counseling where everything you share is confidential, of course. You know why I do this podcast, guys. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com ORD. Join over 800,000 people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash O-R-D. And thank you to Rebecca for enlightening us on how to best let go of someone with her wonderful article. I really uh, appreciate how Rebecca did not sugarcoat this and was very upfront in reminding us that, unlike in Disney movies, love is not everything. The closest it gets is the love that we have for ourselves, which needs to be considered first when deciding who else we want to give love to, you know? The truth is that there are many factors getting in the way of that, and it's okay to acknowledge those factors. As a matter of fact, without acknowledging them, we're just lying to ourselves about our relationships and really doing them a disservice in the process. And with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. I hope this one's given you some good points to ponder over how letting go of someone can affect your relationship with yourself. I will see you tomorrow with a post on communicating your needs without feeling needy, where your optimal life awaits.